Okay, I can't believe that this is actually what just happened, but that right there is a 260 to 285 Red Deer, which is the max score estimate, and I literally, like, just started on this map. I'm barely outside the outpost, and that's the second Red Deer I see. Um, he's actually out of calling range, so I'm gonna scoot in a little bit so we can call him in, but I decided to come to Vattleblom mainly because I wanted to try to get some content for while I'm away, so there's still videos every day while I'm not here, and I thought... If I put a couple hours into Vattleball, surely I can get like a 260 or 270 Red Deer, and that took every bit of five minutes, and I'm pretty sure that is what we're looking at. So we gotta get in under like 200, and then we'll hit him with a call, and hopefully he'll come in and we can get him uh, ideally with a bow, but whatever we can do. I've got the 764, which is ethical for Red Deer, and that should mean, actually since he's calling, that we're good to call him in. But yeah. Hopefully he's going to cooperate, hopefully we can get him with a bow. And probably what we're going to do is actually go and look for Ibex then, uh, after this, because that guy right there is exactly what I'm looking for. Like, that's the one nice thing I like about Classic and like the spotting estimates in general. Like, I know for sure that he is a, um, pretty much 260 plus, because I've got level 20 spotting and I know that he's not going to be one of those 240s that just looks really big. He is definitely like a trophy size tag so hopefully he gets coming in here in a second and we can get him that's still so cool like seeing those giant antlers on the red deer in classic but I'm a little worried that this dude's actually gonna end up messing this up I still want to use the bow because I might hunt down here a little bit longer but since he's gonna go behind that hill actually that's really cool you can see his antlers just sticking out I just don't know with this smaller one like if he goes up there just like where we can actually get a shot he's in range like we can definitely get him with the pulsar I'm not too worried about that I'm just not sure like with this guy getting so close he's definitely looking at us all right we're gonna go ahead and try to get this dude if he will stop oh god definitely did not hit the second shot the first one wasn't good either unless we clipped a lung like on that side I'm pretty sure we're gonna need another shot that's actually kind of annoying I needed like another half a second because he was about to stop and probably had I had a bigger gun I would have taken the shot walking but just uh the 764 is not ideal for red deer yeah it's definitely definitely not gonna kill him but I do wonder, like, because it opens up out here, and he's not going to run up over that mountain. He's going to go to the right, because he didn't go left. We would have seen him. And, uh, yeah, we should maybe be able to figure out where he's at. Actually, he's, I think, right there. Yeah. So we'll mark that, and we'll head over there and probably try to uh, get on his tracks. Or maybe, depending on where he stops, we can probably, yeah. He's kind of glitching into the side of the mountain, but maybe we can just take a shot from here. Because if he walks up and over that, it's going to be rather annoying to actually try to follow him and not spook him. Because these guys are tough to track. So even though he's glitching, I think I want to go for that. Okay. I don't know where we just hit him, because I didn't expect that to be that good. I just wanted to get a lung and make sure he would die. That's kind of crazy. I want to know where we hit that. Because that was actually a pretty far shot, too. Good looking stag. I hope he makes 270. That's really what I wanted. And neck bone and lung. That is a crazy weird angle. And it's right on 270. So, I mean, that is exactly what I set out to look for on Vattable. I just thought it would take a little longer than, you know, 15 minutes or whatever the total has been now. But we'll set up a... Hopefully decent trophy shot. He's nice and in the sun and everything, just the side of the hill is not gonna help us. I think I wanna go with something like this if I can just get it like framed properly. Cause I don't want his nose or antler cut out. Probably just gonna go with that. So I'm not gonna mount him, because I've got like a 275 or something, but to get a 270 that quick is really good and I mean yeah, now I just have time to go see if we can get any Ibex. So, go figure. Didn't take very long to find a decent one. 
He was just down here and I had to crawl a little closer because of where he's at. But I think he's maybe like 220s or 230s. He's not huge. But how the heck did he get over here? You can see he's got like the taller curl, which they never score that high, but he's a good looking one. So we'll just get that before he walks away too far. And I spooked another one. But, um, yeah. Not a bad Ibex. Obviously, that's not going to be huge or anything. But, especially for, again, <laughs> the way this hunt has gone. The fact that it was that quick finding this dude, too, is really cool. So, that was another neck bone long shot in 229. So, almost made it to 230s, actually. But, just because he's a pretty decent looking goat, we'll go ahead and take a trophy shot of him. Plus, up here in the mountains, it always looks like really nice. So, even if he's a little lacking on score, that's still going to be cool. Not bad. I like the way that actually uh, turned out the way his head's kind of like curled towards us. I really like that. So, um, yeah. Another pretty decent kill. Okay, seriously. I literally like walked a little bit and turned around. And here's this dude, which is definitely higher scoring. He's got like a, I don't know, less steep arch to his horns. And that kind of curl usually uh, does mean they're higher scoring. So before he, like, walks behind that hill, I'm going to get where I can be prone here. And we're going to go ahead and try to get him. Ah, uh, don't walk away. You know? This 764 is impressing me. I did, like, a review on it when it initially came out. And, like, I liked it. I really like the sound of it. It's one of my favorite sounding guns in the entire game. But the power just seemed lacking to me like I can remember shooting whitetail and stuff not that far away that weren't dropping now the red deer we hit the neck the last ibex we hit the neck so that kind of you know not sure if it's really the power or just lucky shot placement but this one definitely while they're ibex and they're not too difficult to drop that was nothing but lungs and a pretty far shot so I might actually start using that like I said I like the sound of it and I like uh like the the uh Honestly, the looks of this one, since it's engraved. But, got a bunch of female Ibex running away up there, too. I don't usually kill that many decent Ibex in this area. So that's actually kind of nice. So I gotta figure out where he actually was, because I didn't mark him. Oh, it was off by a little bit. He's down here, but I do, uh, I do really need to get back into the habit of marking things that I shoot far away. Especially Ibex, because they fall in these rocks like this. It's really, really easy to lose them, but... I know this guy's definitely bigger. Got a much nicer curl to him. I think he's 240s, though. He's not huge. Yeah, yeah 249, though. Not bad. Definitely a big improvement over the last one. And... We're in a pretty nice area again, so I want to try to get some kind of cool trophy shot of this dude, too. I think we're going to go with this. That was just really difficult. I could not get anything that I really liked. But again, he's not huge, so we're not going to taxidermize him. But that was a pretty nice little Valdeball hunt. A 270 Red Deer, 229 and 249 Ibex. Like, pretty happy with that for all the more time it actually took. So that is going to do it for this video. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.